Last time we finished building our comments list adapter class, and now we're ready to finish implementing our interface to navigate to the comments thread when we click on the speech bubble right here. So let's go to profile activity where I've implemented the on comment thread selected listener, and now we're gonna use this to navigate to the comments thread. So selected uh, comment thread, and we can do view comments fragment, fragment equals new view comments fragment. And then we need our, to use a bundle to pass the photo. And put parsable for the photo. So we'll get string r dot string dot photo and then pass the photo. And that should be good. Then fragment set arguments to the arguments. And then we just need to do our fragment transaction. So transaction equals get support fragment manager dot begin transaction and then transaction dot replace r dot id dot the main container that we use for our fragments. And then we pass our fragment and transaction adds back stack. And that's where we are going to reference our view comments fragment, which I haven't made yet, and then transaction.commit. Okay, so let's go into our strings file and make this new fragment name. So res values strings and go down to fragment names, wherever those are here. And I'm just going to copy that line, delete that, view comments fragment, view comments fragment. Actually, I don't need to add a fragment looking at my naming convention there. And that should go away. So now our fragment has a name and that will navigate us to the fragment. So now we need to retrieve that photo once we're actually in that fragment. So, oh, I don't even have the class open. So let's go to our view comments fragment here. And in here, we're going to create a method for retrieving that photo. And it's going to be very similar to our view post fragment. So if we go in here, we should have a method for retrieving the photo. I think it's called get photo from bundle. Get photo from bundle, there it is. I'm just gonna copy that whole thing, paste that down there, and it should be actually exactly the same. And we need to create a default constructor for the bundle up at the top here. So we just do public view comments fragment for a default constructor, and then we call the super and set arguments to a new bundle. And that's gonna prevent a null pointer exception when it's receiving a bundle coming from an interface. So now let's create a global variable for the photo. So private photo and photo. And then down in here, we will do a try. Actually, I'm just gonna copy it from view post fragment because it's gonna be exactly the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this try catch right here, go into view comments fragment, paste it, getting the photo from the bundle and that should be good. So should also print out the arguments. So we can actually run this at this point and test it to see if it's working. I just want to make sure that, oh, I didn't, yeah, exactly. I didn't, in the setup widgets method, I don't think I added the interface. So let's go to setup widgets in view post fragment and down here in our comment on click listener, we need to implement this interface. So I'm in comment selected listener and then do on comment selected listener and then pass the photo. And that should be good. So then that should actually navigate us to our comments thread. So let's test it and run the app. All right, let's go to the profile, select an image, and just gonna click on the little speech button here. And also too, you can see we didn't test the caption, but it looks like it's setting correctly and everything looks good here. Let's click on the speech bubble and there we go. So it did actually take us to the comments thread and the back arrow isn't set up yet. We have our little comments text box here. Let's check out the log and see if it received the photo from the bundle. So we can see view comments fragment get photo from bundle and here is the photo that we were looking at. Let's click the link just to make sure it's the right photo and it is definitely the right photo. And just to finish this video off we're just gonna uh, instantiate a couple of the widgets in uh, view comments fragment. So let's go up here and do widgets and the first one is gonna be the back button so private image view back arrow and then the second one is going to be the check mark so m 
check mark and what else do we got that should be it for there and then private edit text for the comment itself let's go down into on create here and do the back arrow image view view from beauty our id dot should be back arrow and check mark this is what we are going to be pressing to confirm the comment that's going to be image view post comment and then the last one comment is just going to be the edit text field view from everybody r dot id dot comment is the name and so if we take a look at instagram basically what we want to do for the very first comment is we want to display the the com the profile picture of the person who posted the image their username and then instead of adding a comment, we want to put the caption in place of the comment. And then there is no like button available here. So let's create that first comment. And I'm also going to create a global variable for the array list that's going to hold all of the comments. So array list of comments, let's call it comments. And let's instantiate that down here. So comments equals new array list and comment first comment or I guess yeah I guess we can just say first comment equals uh, new comment and first comment we're going to set the comment to the photos caption so get caption and first comment dot set set the user ID to the user ID that's associated with the photo and first comment set the date created to photo dot date created first comment set likes uh, we're not gonna worry about the likes okay so that should be good and that's gonna be the very first comment of the actual it's gonna it's not technically a comment it's basically the post itself and the, there's a few other differences though also you'll notice that there's no reply button there's no likes and there's no heart so inside of our uh, list adapter our comment list adapter we're going to need to actually handle that so we need to check to see if those parameters are null and if they are then we want to set the visibility of the widgets to invisible so I guess we can just go down to the very bottom so we can just do if uh, the position is the very first position so if the position we're looking at equals zero so the zeroth index then we will set those two those things to uh, invisible so holder dot like dot set visibility view dot gone and holder dot likes dot set visibility view dot gone and holder dot what else is there reply set visibility view dot gone I think that was it. it was only three of them there was the likes reply and yeah the like button okay so that should be good uh, let's uh, go back to our view comments fragment and we don't have a lot of time but maybe let's just see if we can quickly test this so let's instantiate our list view also so private list view and list view and get that down here. List view equals list view view from view our ID dot. So we just list view and create our comments list adapter. We'll just call it adapter equals new comments list adapter. And we want to do the context so get activity and r dot layout dot layout comment. And then of course our list. So we're just going to have a single item in the list currently. So comment, comments dot add first comment. So it's going to pass comments here. And it's going to do a return to give us more space. And then list view set adapter to the adapter. And we need to make sure that we call all these things down below after we get the photo from the bundle or else obviously we try and retrieve things from the bundle. It's not going to work. So now let's just run it really quick and I'm not going to really have time to troubleshoot it if something goes wrong since this video is kind of too long already but let's just take a quick look and see where we're at. Okay let's go to the profile and select an image and select the comments thread and it looks frozen looks like it's going to crash. 
and we get a crash. Let's quickly check the log here. Looks like we had a crash in the comments list adapter. Let's take a look. And it's telling me that the likes part widget is null. Well, I'm not really sure at this point, and like I said, this video is a little long, so I'm just gonna quickly silence and try catch, and we're gonna catch the null pointer exception. And then in the next one, we will resolve this issue and continue to move forward. So let's just throw this in here and hit run again. And we'll go to the profile, choose a photo, click the comments thread, and there we go. So it is working. Uh, we just need to figure out what's going on with that null pointer exception to make these null, or the, this invisible, because we don't want the likes coming through, we don't want the reply coming through for that first comment. So uh, I'm going to stop the video here, and the next one we'll resolve that and work on probably inserting comments into this new comments thread. So I'll see you in that next video.